right so that's one club in Manchester let's talk about the other club Manchester United they've had obviously a longer break than they would have anticipated no game for them over the weekend or the previous weekend but you have to wonder what Ten Hag's best 11 is you mentioned the Manchester derby that's what they've got coming up after the break he's got some time to sit down and think about that and in that Europa League game against Sheriff he put out the best side that he could Ronaldo was up top here. Ronaldo scored a penalty. Jaden Sancho was on the score sheet too. Do you have a feeling as to who his best eleven is? Yes, we saw that against uh, Arsenal, uh, probably on a couple occasions. But you know, the one against Arsenal with Rashford uh, leading the line, Jaden Sancho and Anthony and Fernandez behind. I don't want to go, go through everybody, but obviously that also includes uh, 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 Martinez and Varane uh, in the back. So I think that's your best lineup. In the last couple of games, uh, Marcus Rashford was not available. That, of course, gives a gives a chance uh, um, for Cristiano Ronaldo uh, to show that he still belongs, and and that's your normal rotation. And uh, but yeah, the game against Arsenal for me was the lineup that you're going to see most likely if everybody comes uh, back healthy in the Manchester derby. Okay. So what is the work that he needs to do with the players that he's got in these weeks, in the international break, before that Manchester derby? What are the fixes he needs to make to ensure that they can come away from that one with a with a positive result? Well, I think there's still a structure, defensive structure, press, uh, pressing and counter-pressing. Uh, and I think general sloppiness. Uh, uh, we saw that against Sheriff. We've seen that in some games. Uh, as good as Malasia has been at left back uh, coming in for uh, Luke Shaw. In the last couple of games, I think he was almost too brave. Almost as if he got ahead of himself a little bit because he committed a number of his mistakes in the last couple of games. Uh, they didn't have to pay the price for that, I suppose, although they did play against uh, uh, Real Sociedad uh, uh, on that occasion. But I think it's just the simple fundamental stuff, which I think continues to be going on. I don't think we've still seen, uh, obviously, the finished product, but I think Ten Hag will know that structure, discipline, uh, a certain way of playing consistently is going to be the way for them to, to, to get to stay in the top four at the end of the season. I think that's what he's working on. Because uh, I think to some degree, I don't want to say he's limited in terms of his lineup, but it's not like he's going to pull an ace out of a hat out of nowhere and say, well, look at this. I always knew that this particular player is going to change change the way we play. So I think the structure, that that's key with him. Even if you didn't know uh, Ten Hag, just just looking at him, right? I mean, just imagine if I, if I showed him and his demeanor and how he approaches or some press conference conferences to to a person that's never watched football i think he'd come up with that that structure is key thank you very much for watching espn fc on youtube for more highlights analysis and exclusive content be sure to subscribe